and this is time management i'm back with you ida meyer i must just remind you who i am from the university of pretoria because you like the instructive right you want to know who you're talking to so you are normally the person who plans and structures quite well so it's easy for you to do time management and you normally stick to it but what if it doesn't work what if it's not working because life happens, right? So then what you do is you crumble it up and you plan over and you start with the work that's most urgent. Also to you, I want to tell the golden rule of learning to say no. Be picky on what you spend your time on. So if you have a test for tomorrow, and you plan or don't plan but you do it series watching the series because you like to know when it's coming right you like series if you do that oh, guys it's not going to work well for you because then you're going to be under last minute stress which you don't like so be picky on what you spend your time on then how do you do your day plan break your next day up in single hours or your weekend break it up in single hours the only one you allow to combine is your sleeping time because obviously you're not going to write the whole page full of sleep 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 right so break it up in single hours except for your sleep time so important is plan the day before for a weekend plan Friday night. What you normally put in a day day planner is first put in the things that you normally do. Eat, sleep, if you have to do chores over a weekend, go to school on a normal day. Those normal things that you have to do, which is important for you to do or which you can't escape its responsibilities those you put first then you look at what time is left the time that is left you put in you start with the work that is most urgent you break it up into smaller pieces and you put it into your hour planners in smaller pieces detail of what you have to do then you look after the most urgent things if there's anything that you must cut on so should you cut on your eating time your social time your time that you sleep we will talk later about what is the best sleeping time but look at should you cut on that so that you can do more of your responsibilities now where does your social time and social media and watching series because I'm not telling you not to have a life those you use as a reward at the end of the day also the weekends you need to plan your time off take six to eight hours for yourself off that includes sleeping late maybe on a Saturday morning but do it without feeling guilty about it that time that you plan off if you feel guilty about it, you will just end up Monday morning being tired anyway. But if you don't feel guilty about it, you've planned it, you've also planned your work time, you will actually feel rejuvenated by Sunday night and Monday morning because you feel you've been productive. So what about a month planner? Your month planner, you put up against your wall. You put your tests there, deadlines, and your deadlines for assignments. So that you can see also on your month planner what you need to do over weekends. Because during the week you do not always have time for those assignments because you have big tests, cycle tests or semester tests. You have tests to do. So it is not always possible for during the week to fit in the time to do an assignment. So be more productive over your weekends and 
plan that on your month planner. Now just to recap, do your planning the day before. Friday night for the weekend, the day before for your day plan. If it doesn't work, crumble it up, start over. Start with the most urgent work. Then also, finally, a little tip for you, also plan time for yourself to stress. Okay, so that when you stress, you stop, you look at what happened to your plan and plan over or organize your environment or your work or clean your environment, but give it a time so that you don't overextend that time that you clean or organize your things. I'm very excited about you and time management because I know you're going to use these tips. So have fun doing it because you're the kind of person that enjoy time management. See the next person. We're going to talk about those people who enjoy writing what they are thinking. See you with the next